Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. On today's episode, I am going to be making some 3D flower jewelry from Shrinky Dinks. I have been excited to share this with you since Toy Fair, which was back in February. So when we went to the Alex Brands booth, they were making these and they actually gave me this pair of earrings, which I love and I couldn't wait to receive the kit so that I could share this with you guys. So this is what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make some earrings and a bracelet. Here are the materials that come in the kit. So first we have the Shrinky Dinks and these are what we will be coloring. I don't know if you've ever done Shrinky Dinks before. I love them. <laughs> I have a couple videos doing them. These are all of the flowers and then we have different leaf patterns as well. So let's see what else we have. The hardware to make, I think we can make bracelets necklaces and earrings and then we have some colorful beads and colored pencils and this is how we will bake the shrinky dink so we'll color them and then place them on this little green piece and I don't know I'll have to read the directions I don't know if we smash them down in there or if they just when they shrink if they fit down in there but we'll bake them and then this will turn into this. I wanna quickly show you what all of the different flowers look like and then I'll show you the leaves as well. So we have one, two, I think there's eight, three, four, five, six, that one's cool, seven, eight. So eight different flower patterns. You know what, it looks like this is the one that my earrings were made from. It definitely is. So this turns out like this. Now let's take a look at the different leaves. So we have this pattern, this pattern, so that's two, three. So we have three different leaf patterns to choose from. Shrieky Dinks have a smooth side. See how it's kind of shiny? and then a rough side and you want to make sure that you color on the rough side so we have a lot of different colors colored pencils and we're going to go ahead and start coloring our flowers So I used red, blue, and purple, and I think I'm going to do the inside with green. Actually, I changed my mind, <laughs> and I'm going to use white. And here are some earrings that I made and I'm sure you're noticing that my nail polish is different. <laughs> I had to go out and buy a little pencil sharpener to sharpen my pencils and so when I did I went and got my nails painted too. So these are going to be earrings and then I went ahead and painted a lot more flowers and I also painted the leaves. So now we can put them in the oven 
and after they're done, we can assemble our jewelry. I have the oven preheating, and I'm going to place the shrinky dinks with the shiny side facing up. I'm gonna place those like this. And they're going to bake in the oven for six to seven minutes. Okay, let's see what they look like. <laughs> they're so little. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, just as a point of reference, remember, this is how they start. So they're this big when they go in the oven. And then this is what they look like when they come out. These will be our earrings, and this will be part of our bracelet. Okay, let's load some more up. And we're also going to start baking our leaves. Here is how our leaves turned out. Aren't they adorable? I really like all of them. Look at the little polka dots. The stripes are cute too. Where'd that go? <laughs> there we go. Now let's check out the rest of our flowers. Oh, that's funny. That kind of, <laughs> that looks like flowers. <laughs> like this is like the little stem. That's funny. All right, let's take a look. We have a lot of flowers and they are really cool. There's that rainbow one. I was excited to see how that would turn out. That's cute. I definitely like all of the really colorful ones. What do you guys think? One pair of earrings coming up. I bet, I don't know if this will, I don't, I'm not 100% sure this will work, but let's see. I think that we can add a stem to them as well. Oh, I don't know, maybe the little earring is not long enough. Let's check. Oh, I bet that would work. Oh, that's so cute with the little stem. What do you guys think? Do you like it better with the stem or without? Next, we'll use some of the clear elastic to make a necklace. We're going to make a cluster of flowers on the clear elastic, and then we're going to attach that to our necklace. I have threaded our elastic onto our little beading needle. I guess that's what we'll call it. So it's kind of like a sewing needle. There's a little loop there, so I've looped the clear elastic through that and then I wove it up through the flower, through the bead, back down through the hole and tied it into a knot. So now we're gonna add more of our flowers and leaves and then we'll have a little group of flowers and leaves to attach to the necklace. So I think this is gonna be really cool. This part is a little tricky to show on camera, so I might just have to explain it. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it. Oh yeah, there you can. So what I did, oh, it just <laughs> it all came undone. So I'm going to take these ends and thread them through one of the loops on the necklace. I'll see if I can show you this. Okay, there. And then I'm just going to tie it in a knot. 
and I'm going to tie it in a couple more knots and then I will give you a better look at this. Once you have it knotted really securely, you can add a drop of glue to really make sure that your knot is secure and not going to come out and then you just clip the ends of the clear elastic off and here is my necklace. Isn't that pretty? Next we're going to use a similar technique to make a bracelet. So I have taped the bracelet down so that it doesn't move all over the table and I fed our clear elastic through the loop on our little beading needle again and then I tied that onto the end of the bracelet. So now we're just going to start putting our flowers on and we'll work our way across the bracelet. Here is our bracelet. I can't quite hook it. It's just a little bit too small for my wrist. But this is what it would look like on. I love this stuff. I think this is so cute and it's really easy and fun. And now we have a whole set of matching jewelry. So we have our bracelet, our necklace, and our earrings. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching me make the 3D flower jewelry. And if you would like to find these kits, you can check on alexbrands.com or on Amazon. Make sure that you leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite piece was. The earrings, the bracelet, or the necklace. I think mine is the necklace. <laughs> Can't wait to hear what yours is. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DC TC. We do toy reviews. DC TC. And we play with Play Doh too. Skits, pranks, eggs, and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh huh, uh huh, that's right. <laughs>